<clears throat> so today, upon request, we're going to talk about ro pro rotary systems for your laser oh on this special uh, Halloween edition of the show. So we're going to talk pro rotaries. Then we're going to jump into the software officially for the first time ever. It's pretty exciting. As its own full-fledged segment. Yeah, it, it's come to life. Finally, it is one. And then we're going to talk. What are we going to talk about? We got uh, weekend builds. Oh, we have weekend builds as well. Yeah. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Yeah, it's going to be a relatively, relatively quick show. Yeah. But, you know. So. Let, let's show how to set up a rotary. All right. Can we talk about, like... Yeah, we'll, yeah, talk, we'll over talk over it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So here we go. We got, uh, so I like to line it up against that wall and then lower it. Yeah, make it nice and uh, perpendicular. Square. Square. Then you plug in the rotary for your other, you know, that replaces the motor. Right. You got your tumbler in there. Your tumbler, make your adjustments. You want to make sure that it's nice and level. Yeah, you want to make sure that the top of the cup is nice and level, whatever you're engraving on. You want it to yeah. Be. yeah, that's not perfectly flat. It's actually smaller at the bottom, so I kind of raise that so right. it's even with the top. Yeah, so the bottom is probably going to be a little skewed, but as long as the top is, is nice and even. <laughs> yeah. So, so there you have it. That's how you set up, essentially, your pro rotary. Uh, it, it's fairly straightforward, really. Yeah. You plug and play. Plug and play. Yeah. Legit. Now, how do I do? You know, how do I set up the rotary in the software? That's a good question. Maybe we should jump into the software. I think we should. Best intro to any segment ever, <laughs> I might add. I had fun uh, working on that all week. All week. It all took week. him all week. My goodness. That's totally worth it that About one two minute. days. Two days. Yeah. Any any other man it would take a week. <laughs> It'd probably turn out a lot better too. No. Impossible. <laughs> that is the best. So now that we're in the software, let's go ahead and set up our rotary job. I have my file. I'm going to drag and drop in there. The software you can drag and drop any file format, but it does prefer PDFs as that is its native format. Yeah, especially if you're doing um, any vector, vector data. Especially. So you just wait. Our laser's kind of three rooms away. So there yeah, we go. We're gonna zoom out. Michaela made this file extra huge for extra resolution. Just kidding, it's a vector file, so it's good either way. We're going to go here in the Layers tab. We don't need the vector data. We're going to engrave this on a cup. So we're going to go ahead and let's just delete it. We could yeah. visually turn it off. Yeah, but let's you can just turn it off, it. but you can also just straight up delete it. I'm going to scale it to fit my cup. Now, to scale to fit your cup, you just measure, you know, measure your cup. Yeah, if it's you a one-to-one one, one yeah. one measurement. It's, it's fairly straightforward. Here's where it gets a little different from other setups on jobs. Uh, let's say that is the size we want. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on here. Zoom out just a bit. And I'm going to turn this 90 degrees. Now that makes sense, right? Because the cup is sitting 90 degrees from vertical. Right. All right. As long as it makes sense for Tim, it will make sense for you. <laughs> then we're going to go into our settings. This is where the magic happens. Yes. Make sure you do this. Go to your rotary and enable the rotary. That's how you're going to do this without 
any sort of scaling issues. So enable the rotary. Now are they going to need to restart their machine to do this? Yes, you're going to well, you're going to want to turn it off. Make sure it's turned off, then plug well, in the rotary. Then you can boot it up and set this. That's fine. So we'll save changes. And now all we have to do is run the perimeter, make sure it fits on the cup, and uh, select our power settings. So for an engraving, our power settings are on the right. Typically for a cup, like a tumbler, getting rid of that powder coat, I like to do 500 DPI. So I'll do 500 DPI. On a pro, I like to blast it away 100% power and 100% speed. Yeah. If you see that the edges are kind of getting washed away because you have fine detail engravings, then lower the power. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's, metal is something that you don't have to worry about going through. Yeah, metal is not going to be affected laser. by your CO2 laser. Now, sometimes I've seen too much power where it kind of cakes on, like the debris a little bit, but you can always remove that with oven cleaner. So, we're going to go ahead and hit play. Yep. We'll just hit play and then watch it run. This is what would happen if we hit play. Yep, we got the perimeter running first, and then it's going to go really, really fast. Now, this is sped up, I think I sped it up about 10 times the original speed. You don't have to worry too much with the focus. You can see that the cup is dipped down a bit in the center. With the CO2 laser and the default lens, you actually have about a quarter of an inch up and down. So that's an eighth of an inch up, eighth of an inch down from focal length to be in focus. There's Michaela sitting down her new cup. Beautifully. Lovely. So guys, that's how you set up your rotary. Your pro rotary, that's how you set up the software. I hope you've learned a lot. Yeah. And Pretty. until next time, keep making. Keep making.